Right, there we go. So that should be recording. We should be recording. We're live. Yeah, we're live, mate. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. So finally got a, a video sorted. Um so yeah, so what what I thought we could do is just go over those points again that we talked about today, uh, in regards to um obviously your experiences with uh the vegan diet and uh <laughs> And like my experiences in the past, being vegetarian uh, and obviously going back to meat. So, so yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know where we where we should start, but um, I don't know if you. Uh, well, I, I suppose I started the vegan diet six weeks ago. Now, as a four week experiment, I wasn't expecting anything great. I was, in honestly, I, I, I honestly thought I was going to lose a lot of strength and I was going to kind of get a little bit doughier and just feel a little bit more fatigued. Yeah. And the that's opposite happened. I, I actually enjoy eating less meat. I feel a lot cleaner. I gained strength. Um, I went up in weight and I lost body fat, which is sort of a, a bit of a miracle when it comes to um, the gym. Here. Um, sort of that, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. That sort of beautiful area, what everybody wants to find. Whenever you get a new client in, that's kind of what they yeah, want to do. Like, I would, I would say like, fat. like almost, almost like a body recomposition. Yeah, yeah, sort of. So, I mean, the, the experiment was only meant to go on for four weeks, uh, but I've decided to stick the vegan diet out. Um, I'm not going to lie; it's only till Christmas Day because I'm not, I'm not wasting my <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> um, but then I will be jumping back on the vegan diet just afterwards, I suppose. Uh, so I, I obviously had really, really good results on the vegan diet. Then, like I feel great. I'm sleeping better. Um, a little bit disgusting, but my bowel movements are a lot more like regular, and just that always helps, kind of thing, doesn't it? Um, but I did, I did do quite a lot of research into it before I started it. So I do feel like I did the vegan diet the correct way because. There's obviously a very unhealthy way to do it as well, I, I, I assume. So, I mean, I know that you wanted to talk about, like, supplements and stuff like that, eh? like the B12 supplement and stuff. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, yeah. Um, I'd say anyone considering doing the diet, um, B12 and DHA are things that you really shouldn't take lightly. Like, a lot of people out there, they're going to tell you, like, don't worry, you can get everything you need from plant-based from a plant-based diet, that's that that might be true on some research, but there's other research that shows that that's not the case, and that the aftermath of depleting your B12 or having low D, DHA can lead to dementia. And it's it's literally a case like I got both these products for less than ten pounds uh, just off my protein, so it's it's a well uh, well used site, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's over that right there is about three months worth of DHA and right. B12, yeah. do you know? So for £10, even if, even if you can get everything from a plant-based diet, it's not worth the risk, do you know? The, the, risk, the risk reward ratio yeah. is massively off on that one, I oh, think. De yeah, definitely. I mean, even if you're a, a meat eater, I still think a, a large portion of the population are deficient in, in those, in those um produce you know like uh b12 i think i think it's something like 40 odd percent of the of the population are deficient in that and like for myself yeah. you know for, for myself like obviously i've i went to um as you know i went to the doctors for my bloods and uh it came back uh red blood cell count really low um so I'm assuming that is in in relation to B12. Um, is that right? I'd, I I I wouldn't know. I'd, I'd I'd be treading in an area, but I'm not too familiar with yeah. them. But I mean, I, 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 Matt, the the recommendation for from the um, from the GP was to eat red meat, and um, whether that will actually help with with my issue, my red blood cell count being low. I don't know, but I think like it's worth like I think for me it's um it might not be B twelve, it might be um iron levels are low. Um, right. So I 
you know, like if you was, say if you was a, a vegan, do you still think that that would apply, um, you know, taking a supplement like iron as well? I'd, I'd, I'd say anything that, that you, you're likely to get a, a deficiency in, you, you may as well take. But the, the best thing to do is before starting any of these diets is do what you did and consult your doctor and get your bloods done. Uh, I, I don't know whether you, you, if it's within your financial range to pay for it yourself, then obviously that's an option. Or you can yeah. do what I do and I, I just pester my doctor for long enough that he finally gives in and, <laughs> and yeah. does my blood work for me. So... Yeah, so so like um, I suppose like a follow-on question to that would be the the cost of uh, a vegan diet as opposed to um, you know uh, a meat-based one. Would you say there's any any difference? Would you say it's more expensive? Yeah, there's there's definitely a. a... It definitely is in some areas, but where that area lies it is a little bit foggy because just like, for instance, you, you, you have to do like two big shops a, a week just because you, you can't store that amount of fresh produce in your house, especially if, if you're doing it like the, the way I did it, which I consider the correct way, which is just a lot of fresh vegetables, a lot of chickpeas. And, like th th these are kind of things what like they don't really have a long shelf life. Do you know what I yeah. mean? So you can't. You, you can't be going just for one big, even if you went for one big shop, the amount what you'd have to get, it, it, you wouldn't have anywhere to store it. It's just it's yeah. too much because the, the, it, it, it's not very calorie dense food. Do you know what you're eating? So you need to be eating quite a lot of it, especially if, if you're into sports and training in any way, shape or form. You, you, you need quite high quantities of this food, uh, which for me, that like I actually found that, like a, a massive benefit because there's a little fat kid who lives in my tummy. So <laughs> he was like very, very pleased with it. Um, yeah. Definitely on the supplement side of things, like, because you, you, you could definitely make a very strong argument that you can get your amino acids, uh, your protein from your meats and stuff like that. Whereas mm -hmm. as well as buying food, I, I definitely felt that getting a protein supplement and an amino acid supplement helped. Now, it's not massively expensive. I think you can pick up a kilogram of whey pro uh, vegan whey protein powder. for. I think I got mine for under £10, which probably lasts about two weeks or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And amino acids, uh, I'd say that that was about £10 as well. Uh, yeah. But obviously, this does add up over time. But it, it's more a, it, it, it's more a, it's not very convenient. I, I'm not going like, to lie. Like To be on the vegan diet, it, it's a lot of, work behind the scenes because there's just not as much food available to you um say if you went for a meal in a restaurant for instance they, they might have three choices if you're lucky if you went to a weatherspoons for instance what's got a very large menu yeah. there might be three or four things on that menu what you're allowed um and then you've got to take into account well i want to be healthy as well so how many of those options <laughs> are healthy so it, 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 it does it does get in the way of your life to start with. You do you do sort of work ways around it, but it, it, it's definitely not the the easiest diet to follow. But on, on a on a purely financial level, you it, it's it's not that much different because the amount that you spend on meat is is probably probably balances itself out in supplements. Do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't say it's cheaper or more expensive. Yeah, and I, I suppose if like once you've done the diet for a certain amount of time, you sort of know uh, the meals that you're going to prep, so that's going to be less wastage, and also uh, the best uh, places to source your foods as well. Yeah, of, of course, man, and, and you, you're gonna like you know what it's like when you get a new recipe. Eh? Do, you, do you know what I mean? You, 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 you'll soon work how 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 much of each food you need. To, yeah. to reduce the wastage, but like the wastage at first, probably you might get a little bit extra potentially just because you're messing up on, on recipes and stuff like that. But I think overall, because you're having to cook the meal yourself and it's not like these packeted foods or anything like that, you, you, you're actually under, you, you, you'll gain a little bit of knowledge into how much food you need and stuff like that and, and, and what you want. And you, you won't want to be wasting all the food because you're on it do you know what i mean so plus you can kind of eat a little bit more so they might be a little bit of ground there to yeah to I know it. back on i suppose yeah I, I you know 
going back to what you said about the fact that you can actually eat more, that for a lot of people um, could be a massive benefit because obviously uh, certain foods are more calorie dense than others. And I would say on the whole, uh, like vegetable sources are far less calorie dense. Um, so I suppose from a weight loss point of view, that could be a really good uh, tool. It, it, it was something what helped me quite a lot because I took away meat, which was a, a massive part of my diet before. But because I was then allowed to stuff my face, it, it just, without gaining weight, obviously, it, it just really helped me. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It, it meant I, I kind of enjoyed the diet that little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, I suppose the, count, the, the counter argument to that, if it's, if it's from a purely performance and aesthetic point of view if you're trying to put on weight I suppose that could be quite challenging um, to get the amount of volume when it comes to uh, a vegan diet as opposed to a meat based diet yeah d d yeah I I'd, I'd say you could definitely make that argument d d there would be ways around it I, I suppose if you was following the vegan diet and trying to gain weight you could eat you could eat a lot more nuts and nut butters and stuff like that, mm -hmm. sort of calorie dense foods. But the, 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 there's, there's not many or there's not as many of those types of things on the vegan diet as there is for the, 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 the meat eaters diet, per se. Yeah. So like from, from a, uh, like a choice point of view, um, it can be a little bit more challenging. Would you say? What one hundred percent, man? Yeah, but especially at first when when you're trying to wrap your head around it, um, because it is, but vegetarian it might be well, it, it definitely will be easier because what was catching me out when I first started is anything that contains milk or eggs yeah. is, is wiped out because you're not allowed dairy, mm -hmm. and there's the, a lot like you. I heavily underestimated the amount of things what 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 contain milk and eggs. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. it, it's nearly everything. Um, obviously, like not cheese as well. Like you, you, you sort of underestimate the amount of things what what uh, cheese is mixed in with and stuff like that. Uh, so it, it, it's it's definitely more awkward to get used to. Um, I mean, it, even beer, for instance. It, if you went to the pub, you kind of have to research what beers you're allowed. If you was being super strict, that is, of course, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, it it is yeah. It, without a doubt, it, it's just. It's very awkward to follow up first. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, what a couple like that I know, friends of mine, uh, they're completely, completely vegan, and um, I got them. Well, I went to get them a present uh, the other year for Christmas, and it was I was going to get them like a bottle of wine. And as you say, some of the wines are actually like they use like the uh, something like this the the skin of, of fish to filter the to filter the um the wine itself i don't know exactly mm. how true that is but yeah so basically there is but if you if you have a look if you go on like the website of let's say tesco or whatever it will tell you um you know what what wines what beers are vegan friendly and what are not so i suppose from that point of view i know you were saying that the the choice is limited but i think Especially over the last couple of years, it has become a lot more accessible. I think for oh yeah, w w without a doubt, you, if if you're gonna go vegan, like now's the time. Just because the the information is there, as you say, like you could you can just nip on the Tesco's website and you can get a list of every single thing they sell. What is vegan friendly? Um, yeah. obviously the, the only thing is if if you're not bothered about me eating meat, eggs, and dairy you don't have to do that. Do you know? So you can just go into Tesco's and buy whatever you want. But yeah. as, as long as, it, it, that, that, that's what I'm kind of getting at. You, it, it, it's more awkward and difficult, but not, it's far from impossible. And especially, the, as, as you say, the, the days we're living in now, like it's almost a, it's almost a promotion for companies at the moment. Like mm -hmm. I, I found, like whenever you walk in a pub, it's like, try our new vegan menu. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And, and there's a lot of them what are sort of cottoning on to, to, to the, the direction of, of the trend, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, when I was vegetarian, um, the reason I went vegetarian was because this couple that I was talking about, uh, they sent me over a video, and it was in, in regards to the, you know, the um, farming industry, and um, it really hit a chord with me 
And I would say like my, my reason for going vegetarian was predominantly uh, a moral issue. Um, so, but for me to cut out eggs, milk, dairy, I felt like I, from, a, from a performance aspect um, and a muscle building aspect, I felt like it might, it, it would be detrimental towards my progress. Um, yeah. He was a strong man at the time as well, eh? Say again. He was a strong man at the time, eh? Like uh, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I first went vegetarian, I wasn't, um, okay. and I, the, the reason I, I decided to go back to meat, um, the, the main reason was calorie intake um, and for strength. Whether that is accurate or not, I'm not 100% sure, but since I've gone back to eating meat, I've, I've put on a lot more size and I'm a lot stronger. Now, you could argue that that, that is because I'm maybe more focused. I'm, you know, my training is more, more directed towards strength goals. Uh, I would say I'm not, as, I'm not in the shape that I was maybe a year ago. Um, but I've definitely put on size and I'm definitely stronger. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting one, really, because I know for, you, for yourself, like, well, your, your strength gains have gone up as well, haven't they? Yeah, so I went up 10 kilograms in my squat. I went up 10 kilograms in my deadlift. I went up five kilograms in my bench press. And I went up three pull-ups. Um, and it, it, didn't, it didn't end there. Like, my, my, my secondary lift improved as well, did, did, you know. Um, but I, I'm, I'm under no illusion either that, my body just reacted really well on this diet and, and I'm quite, you can't see obviously, but I'm quite a slim, skinny kind of guy, do you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. kind of built for endurance rather than strength. Um, and uh, you, you, there's definitely an argument saying that I could have got those strength gains eating meat as well. Um, but I, that wasn't really what I was trying to prove. I was just trying to see, could you get strength gains on the vegan diet? And the answer was for me, for me personally, yes. Yeah. Do you know what I, yeah. um, And I, I also think for the, the large amount of peop people out there, like, I think that vegan diet could potentially be the way for them to go because meat's a tricky subject, I think. Like, a, a lot of people here, like, eat meat, it's got this amount of protein and it's got this amount of amino acids. But that might be true, but it, it needs to be sourced from the right location because... If, like me, you was eating your meat from Aldi because it's more affordable, do you know what I mean? It's cheaper, so that's where yeah. you go to get your meat because you don't want to be paying £15 for a steak in Waitrose when you can be paying £3 in Aldi. It doesn't yeah. make any sense for someone who struggles with money. Yeah. Um, so I, I think if, if that's your problem, sort of thing, if it's financial reasons why you're not eating grass-fed meat, then I think health-wise, the vegan diet probably is the best way to go. Right. Because they, they're not really selling... I don't think there'd be a massive difference between an organic broccoli and a, an Aldi broccoli. I think they're more or less the same. Do you know what I mean? They're, okay. they're getting... You water the soil and then the, the, the broccoli grows. It's, it's mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. It's, yeah. it's not growing in a factory and factory farm or anything like that. Um, but I... I just just going back to people saying like you could come up with 101 different reasons why I'd have, I'd have done better with me and stuff like that but the fact is from the experiment what I did I followed a strict vegan diet and I still got stronger now I'm not saying that if I had meat I wouldn't have got stronger I probably would have done but I got stronger following the vegan diet which mm -hmm. I think is a massive success for oh, yeah. the the general thought from a gym junkie do you know what i mean like the yeah i mean cause I, stereotype. I, yeah i mean when i went vegetarian it, obviously it wasn't vegan but i got a lot of stick for for going veggie and um you know say and like people are asking me like oh, how how are you how are you putting on um how are you staying in shape and how are you putting on muscle like they couldn't get their head around it uh because i think it's been drilled into us for for years and years that uh, meat is associated with 
um, protein and muscle growth. Yeah, 100%. Like that, that is definitely what, what I was taught. And all the research I've ever done in the past was always chicken, fish, eggs, um, red meat. It, it was always about that. And I, I really, I can't really sit here and give you the answers, but all I can say is as a, from a protein point of view, it didn't do me any harm not getting it from yeah. me. Yeah, I suppose, um, I, suppose, I suppose like because the uh, experiment is so short, it, it maybe it needs more time. As you said earlier on, perhaps like if you was to go on the, the diet for a more lengthy period, you might notice like some some issues popping up, but um, so like for yourself, like what what are the other benefits that you've experienced um, since being on? Um, bit of a disgusting one, but as I mentioned before, I'm more regular. Uh, yeah. I got to clean my system out twice a day, and, and it, was, it really was, does. Sorry. Yeah, I suppose that is like a massive benefit for a, a lot of a lot of people as well. Um, having that regular digestive flow because I think those who eat a lot of a lot of meat um, and dairy products and whatnot may have trouble absorbing you know the nutrients that they're, they're eating as well. Yeah, you know if, well, if you... I, I know that me personally, I used to like be quite constipated quite a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? I I could go to the toilet, but it took a bit of work. So I think, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so. You know, like whether, whether a meat eater, if they eat, you know, um, vegetables as, alongside their meat diet, whether that would change that, I don't know. I don't know what your what your diet was like uh, prior to going it, it vegan. Was, it was pretty much a, a lot of meat and a, a lot of veg, and I was very low carb. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I basically, I only had carbs on leg day, pretty much, and, and that was just because I, I wanted my legs to get bigger. So I, I went down the, I was told replace the glycogen stores after your trains and that's how you get bigger. So that, that's, right. that's the sort of science behind that, I suppose. Um, but other benefits, my skin, I, I don't know if it's placebo or not, but my skin feels super clean all of the time. It's like, I'm, I'm not getting any spots break out. I'm not getting any cold sores or anything like that. Um, yeah. Obviously it's pretty, as you say, it's only been six weeks, so that could it could be coming. Um, energy wise, I'm, I've got nah, I'm probably the same energy wise and probably the same performance wise as well. Um, so no, no huge benefits. It's not like I, I couldn't walk before and now all of a sudden I'm doing cartwheels down the street or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do feel pretty good. I, I felt good before. Like I, I wasn't, I didn't feel bad when I ate meat or anything like that. Um, but I definitely feel better now. I, and I don't know if it's somehow related to gut health. I don't know if because my yeah. digestion. I, th I think that's, I think that's massive. You know, like um, I think gut and a mood uh, are highly linked. Um, so if you think about it the other way around. Those who have um, stressful lives often develop IBS as a result. Right. So yeah, I'm, like, again, I'm no expert on this, but I think there's a there's a, a bacteria in your gut which uh, affects mood. I'd have to look into it, but I think there's some along the lines of uh, yeah, the bacteria in your gut. Some bacteria actually um, elevates your mood. So obviously, if, if that's not there then you're going to feel pretty crappy. Um, uh, so there, there definitely is some form of like placebo effects, what goes on in, in my brain as well, because when I'm eating, I'm just eating these big, large portions of vegetables. And it just, I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I, I, you mentioned like moral compass earlier. And I never got into this for, for animal rights reasons or anything like that. Like I don't particularly agree with factory farming, but it's, we're overpopulated and it happens you know what i mean yeah um but there definitely is some something knowing that you're not a part of that anymore do, do, do you get do you get what i mean it just kind of puts you in, in a nice yeah feeling. i mean yeah def definitely uh, when i was vegetarian when i saw um 
you know the the vans with with the cattle in um mm -hmm. it it made me well i was upset by it but at the same time i felt like i'm i was doing a little bit for you know the environment i guess like yeah yeah like you're not adding to the problem anymore sort of thing yeah like it's, it does feel good man it does yeah and i suppose like one of the reasons i i guess i stopped uh being vegetarian was if i was going to be completely honest maybe maybe laziness um i think i touched upon this before just you know your moral compass in in uh relation to uh the effort that it takes you know you know like for your average joe who you know has a, a job family other commitments as well um you know it might it might be like obviously for yourself it's a bit different because you've been running this experiment and it's obviously in your best interest to be super strict with it you know go to the shops twice a week and get your produce um but for you know joe blogs it it might it might seem like it's maybe too much of an effort to go completely vegan um yeah definitely man like and it's like it's as you say like it, it definitely held me like super accountable for my actions because i had these people following me. i i had people coming up to me in the gym constantly like oh how's the diet going man I, i've watched your last video blah so there's definitely something about it'd almost be like if i was to fail i'd be publicly shaming myself in a way do you know like yeah. it'd be like showing a weakness but publicly yeah. to everyone at the same time i mean that could like I would say like, you know, for, for my clients, the, the main, the main thing that I bring to the table is accountability. And I think that is one of the, the main factors in succeeding at, at, um, whatever it is you do. So, you know, that could actually be a benefit for people, you know, to be more, um, obviously cause you know, they're not doing what you're doing, but if they're, if they're saying like, okay, well, I'm going to go, uh, you know, vegan, vegetarian or whatever, and the sort of like slip up on that, um, yeah, the most probably going to feel like a little bit of shame. So the you know it might actually make them more accountable, and also as you said earlier on about being more aware of the food that you're actually consuming. Um, I, I, I think you're like one thing like you do have to understand about the vegan diet and, and about like how easy it is to slip up and about how awkward it is. It, is it, it is difficult. Like if you start any diet and like say, say for instance, you say, right, I'm not going to eat chocolate. That, that in itself is difficult. If, if you cut something out your diet or you follow a diet, it's yeah. always going to be difficult. And the, the, the most difficult thing about the vegan diet is sticking to it because you you're taking away such a large amount of the food groups that you'd usually eat. Yeah, you're yeah. Where all the poultry, you're taking away all the meat, you're taking away all the eggs, you're taking away the cheeses, the mm. milks. The, do you know? There's so many things what are just off limits to you now, and then there's so many other things what you wasn't even aware of what are now off limits to you as well. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, it is difficult to follow. Like it, it's you, you really have got to commit to it. Otherwise, it's so much temptation out there just to slip into, like... Oh, yeah, it's easily done, isn't it? Um, you know, with my clients, what, what, what I say to them when we're looking to make uh, some sort of lifestyle change and it requires something to be omitted from their uh, current, you know, um, routine or habit or whatever it is, is instead of negating it, replacing it so i know that when i was a vegetarian what i would do is i would i would buy in tofu and i would stir fry it like it was chicken right obviously it's not the same it's not the same as chicken but it has a it has a sort of similar texture and if you add like you know seasoning to it as well then it, it becomes like more palatable i guess um yeah so I, so I suppose, like, you know, in that respect, you could sort of replace it with similar tasting, similar textured uh, foods. Would you yeah, of, of course, man. And, and I, I, as we've touched on, like, 
now's the easiest time ever to be like you can literally go into Asda or Tesco's now and they'll have a frozen food section just for vegans and they'll have a lot on it they'll have, they'll have southern fried chicken nuggets they'll have sausages they'll have bacon they'll have nut roast they'll have uh, chicken fillets so, uh, they're all vegan they're, yeah. they're not actually chicken uh, but there'll be little pieces you can add into stir fry it's super super easy if you want to go down the meat alternative route um, mm. I didn't even look into how bad it was for you or anything like that so I'm, I'm not saying like um that i was better for not doing it I, it was just for the purpose of my experiment i wanted no meat substitutes but yeah. as you were saying if that's going to help you stick to the diet and that's the easiest way for you to do so mm -hmm. then do it man you know what i mean it, it, it's yeah. it's probably better for you than the factory farm stuff what you're buying off the shelves anyway so yeah possibly yeah and i suppose they don't they want to cover the, the um the uh, shops want to cover the back, so you know they want to prove that it's sort of like healthier. Um, and most probably the products are, you know, healthier in some respects. Um, mm. So I'm thinking about maybe like wrapping this up in the next couple of, couple of minutes. So is there anything else that you like? Any other points that you've got that you think is worth like noting? Um. I'd just say if, uh, for anyone who's wanting to try the, uh, the, the vegan diet for themselves, um, first of all, if, if you can, go see your doctor. That's always going to be the first piece of advice. Do you know what I mean? Go, go see your doctor. Don't just take our word for it because the doctor's going to know a lot more than just us two PTs just chatting away. But if, you, if you've seen your doctor and he said go for it, I'd say just make sure that you're ready and prepared for it because you're going to have to meal prep stuff otherwise you're going to fail preparation is going to be key the key to your success because if you're not prepping your meals and having stuff ready it's just going to be too easy for you to slip off the wagon there um and just supplements make sure you use b12 and make sure you use dha <laughs> even if you've done a ton of research and you you found out that you can eat chia seeds and uh i don't know all, all these other natural foods what i've got b12 and dha in, as i said for the sake of what was that 10 bucks or something for two yeah. months worth it's really not worth the, the health risk it, even if it's not alzheimer's obviously alzheimer's the worst uh one the the the, the worst uh disease you can get at the end of it but there's still like a disrupting brain function there's brain and eye development mm -hmm. uh there's weakness there's fatigue there's memory loss there's vision issues it, it's it's just really not worth it yeah yeah i mean i think that's a really good point to make um just a just a quick one just for people that will be watching this can you explain what uh b12 12 is and how it works and also dha and and like what that role it has on your body so the DHA then is, it's for brain development. I'm, I'm regurgitating this, by the way. I'm, I'm in no way, by no means, an, an expert. No. Um, but the DHA, it's, it's just sort of what you get from fish oils and stuff like that. But obviously the vegan side of it, you get it from algae. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's really key to sort of your brain development. It's really key for your, the, the link between your brain and eye development mm -hmm. so you can start getting like sore eyes and stuff like that people complain about when they start on the vegan diet uh and b12 i'll be honest i don't actually know what it does or why it's so important i just know what happens if you don't have it yeah so i mean i think i think Alzheimer's. yeah Sorry? vitamin b12 is um is for energy production right um and there's a spectrum of uh B vitamins uh, and they're all they're all important but yeah I mean that would sort of explain why people who go on a vegan diet that don't really eat healthily most probably have little to no energy levels you know right. um, so what's the example like yeah I know I know some vegans that are like purely live on uh, Oreos Okay. Oreo, Oreo, Oreos are, are vegan, um, but it's just an absolutely terrible idea. It's sort of like missing the point. Um, yeah, that's a terrible way to live. Like yeah. no one should just live on Oreos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not saying just Oreos, but I'm saying predominantly. Like you know, like it's not a. It's more for them. I think it's more like oh, I don't want to, you know, um, 
kill animals or contribute to the killing of animals. But at the same time, I don't really care about <laughs> my health as such. So, so yeah, yeah. I, think, I think, you know, putting those two supplements, I think, uh, are super important. Um, just to touch on B12 again, because I, I didn't really give you the, uh, the information you needed there. But um, the, the, I do know the danger of B12 is that it doesn't actually deplete in your system for anywhere between three months to three years. So it, what, what, when your B12 might deplete, might be completely different to my B12 depleting. But once it's depleted, it's not just a simple case of taking a few tablets anymore. You become really, really ill, and, and then you need sort of constant medical attention just to maintain your normal health. That's super so important, that, it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why it's so important. So, I, again, I didn't do as much research as, as your doctor probably knows about or anything like that, but I did do enough research into a guy who that happened to, and he now promotes the paleo diet because of his findings on the vegan diet. But right. he, he just... He just drills home how important B12 is for you. Yeah, I think I think just supplementing with a even just with a, a multivitamin uh, for anybody is like is most probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say you're definitely you're definitely on the money there. Like, yeah, I mean, like, and obviously for people who train on a regular basis, their needs are are higher. Um, yeah. You know, so so yeah, I think that's a really good point to make. Um, is there, is there any? Did you have any other points that you you wanted to discuss before we uh, start wrapping up? Uh, protein bread. Not really, man. Um, just I, I suppose just if you're interested in it, give it a try and and see how you feel. Do you know? Because you might like like I was. I, I looked down on vegans for years and years, thinking that they were idiots, thinking that. I had all the right information. And then I watched the film, The Game Changers, which got brutally, brutally debunked by nearly every meat-eating PC out there yeah. released a YouTube documentary saying how bad it was. But what I took from it, there was strong men, there was NFL stars, there was UFC fighters who was all thriving on the vegan diet. So I thought it, there must be something in it. Mm -hmm. And then for me, it works really, really well. And I, I feel better than I've, I've ever felt. I'm not just saying that, you know. I, I generally feel really fucking good, which is yeah. why I've decided to stick out the diet. Um, that might not be the case for you, but if, if you are in any way like me and you just want to... Even, even if you, you've plateaued in your training, for instance, then switching to the vegan diet and just mixing your diet up might be all you need to get over that plateau, which yeah, is definitely. dying yeah. for a lot of people who train out there. I think the, the main the main message here is to be open minded about it. You know, um, like obviously I, I, I'm not I'm not vegan, but you know I would never say never. Um, obviously, I'd do my research on it. Um, but yeah, I think you're right on point there. Like you know, just give it a go. Like if 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 it don't work for you, that's fine. Uh, if it does, then fantastic. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think that's a that was better put than what I said. Open mindedness is, is sort of key in life, to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you can be open minded enough to to try something out, then do you know what I mean? The worst that's ever going to happen to you is something didn't work out quite the way you wanted it to. And, and as you know, mate, like with yourself and with your clients, it's all about being open minded. And you know, like for example. <laughs> So I know some PTs that are like so rigid in their viewpoints when it comes to training and um you know it's limiting their their repertoire when it comes to to uh, teaching and for themselves so so yeah I think that's um being open minded I think is a is a you know a really good take home message with this yeah yeah. Also, just before we go, have you have you tried? Um, oh, what is it? What's it called? It's on Yule and Dav. Oh, Zoo. It? Zoo Cafe, mate. How good is that? Yeah, delicious. Anyone watching this who wants to go, even, even if you're not a vegan or vegetarian, that's that's yeah. a good fucking cafe to go to, man. That's delicious. Epic, mate. Absolutely epic, and the portions are massive as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're really, really. There's also a sort of secret uh, restaurant called Hitchcock's. 
what's yeah. a, an, an all you can eat buffet? Have you been, been before? There. Yeah, I've been, yeah. Oh, it's no way, like, man. I didn't even know you'd been to that. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, was it the first person to ring on the day gets to choose the theme? Yeah, you, you choose the theme. I've never been let down. I've had Italian, I've had African, I've had Mexican, uh, and I've had in Indian. And I, I've been blown away by how many choices. That I, anyone who wants to try the vegan diet, I recommend you go there first, and you'll just see just how many foods can get cooked without yeah. meat. By the and way, it tastes absolutely <laughs> delicious as well. Oh, like. oh, it's epic, mate. And you wouldn't, you, you couldn't tell that like, you wasn't eating meat. I went there when I was still eating meat, and I was like, I can't believe that there's no meat produce in because it's a buffet style, isn't it? And you, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was, I was blown away by it. To be fair, um, but just for everybody who's, who's watching this as well, this is all based in Hull, so. If if you're about half an hour away from home, <laughs> it's definitely worth the trip. Maybe an hour, sort of pushing it a bit, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's I think that's some good content there. Really, I'm I'm quite pleased with all that's that's gone. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to have a catch up, mate. We'll have to go to do a cafe or something and just like have a break yeah, hundred percent, man. I'm I'm usually available, so yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> but right. yeah, yeah. That's what, mate. What I'll do is I'll um. Obviously, when we're finished, I'll stop recording this. I'll ping you over and I'll most probably um, edit, it, edit it as well so we get, like, the best bits okay. in there. Um, yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, but I appreciate, obviously, mate, I appreciate your time. And, um, yeah, we'll have to have a proper catch-up at some point. Even if no worries, bro. Fucking yeah. thanks for having me, Dave, man, and keep doing what you're doing, man. It's fucking like, a good thing getting like PTs well, like myself yeah. on here, so. Yeah, definitely spot on, yeah. Anyway, have a have a good weekend, and uh, I'll speak to you shortly. Take YouTuber, peace.